Good morning, this is Stylist John with another daily morning motivation for my weekly show, Hairgasm. Thank you for tuning in. And today's morning motivation is silence. I'm going to break down the word silence. And what does silence mean? I'm going to let you reflect on that for just a moment. I'm going to be silent while you think about it. Had enough time yet? I'm going to be silent again. Okay. So, since you've had time to think about it, we're going to go right into what the word means. Silence. What is silence? Complete absence of sound. Quietness. To be quiet. Quietude. Still. Stillness. Hush. Tranquility. Cause to become silent. Prohibit or prevent from speaking. So in life, we have negative situations that come to us or around us. But what we have to do is silence, which means to completely absence the sound of or cause to become silent or prohibit or prevent from speaking negativity. How do you silence negativity? That's today's question. How do you silence negativity? So in my journey as a stylist, as a barber stylist and a stylist, I've encountered many of people that have said some horrible stuff. I'm talking about like, you can't do her. I'd have been told that you can't barber. I'd have been told that you would never be nothing. I've been told that, you know, a lot of stuff that I did that I couldn't do, but my mindset was stronger and I, I wanted to be successful more than they told me what I couldn't do. And so what's the best way to silence somebody that's talking negative to you? It's to silence them with positive action that you do that shows them what you can do when they set a bar and tell you what you can't do. I remember when I was in eighth grade and I had a classmate that told me I could never dunk a basketball. And I was pretty athletic to be in eighth grade. I was probably about like five foot eight. I was close to six foot and I ran tracks so and my body was real cut up because I played little league football and I boxed and I had a classmate tell me that I could I couldn't dunk a basketball and so we in the girls gym at home in middle school and I have been watching Michael Jordan uh, playoff games for like almost what six months my uncle and I used to sit and watch Michael Jordan play and my uncle always claimed he was a ball hog but I thought Michael Jordan was like the best basketball player ever because he was daring, he was confident, he wasn't afraid to take risks, and he was strong in everything he did, and I watched him over and over again. I even put weights in my book bag and did stair steps, and imagine that I was Michael Jordan stepping up on the steps just so I can dream and think about dunking a basketball. I did stair raises on the edge of the steps every night almost 500 every night until my calves were burning. And I did 200 crunches and sit-ups every night. And so the time came when my classmate told me I could never dunk a basketball. And I had never tried. I had always just did my regular jump shots. And from all that work that I've been doing, the sit-ups, the putting the uh, weights in the book bag, and the stair steps, and going up and down the stairs and imagining that I could dunk like Michael Jordan, we was in the girls gym and we had a contest in front of the teachers. And as I was dribbling down, down the floor, my friend was standing under the rim and I jumped up and all this was over top of the rim and I was in eighth grade. And I dunked the basketball and the whole gym went nuts. So you have to silence negativity with positive action. 
when they told me that I couldn't flat iron her, you know what I did? I practiced flat ironing every day for almost two months straight, every single day. Give me the next flat iron. I'm telling Miss Sharon at Elaine Stevens Beauty College where I went to school at. Give me the next flat iron. I stayed there for 12 hours a day, Wednesday through Friday, just so I can graduate from school early, six months early. I graduated early. 12 hours a day doing her all day. From the time that I wake up in the morning, I'm early. I'm at school 8 o'clock in the morning, 8.30, catching the bus to school and staying there till 9.30 at night. Flat ironing her, consistent, over and over again. Shampoo, blow dry, iron curl. Shampoo to her, blow dry, good, iron curl. Doing tight curl, all type of stuff, man. There's some people in life that don't want you to win. But you have to want to win stronger then they don't want you to. It's people that when they start seeing you trying to be successful, they start putting all type of barriers in your way because they want to be successful too. You don't got to do that. You don't have to play by their rules. You don't have to uh, act like they act. If they want to be a, a, a burden and a barrier to you and try to stop you from doing what you're trying to do, you don't have to do like they do. You can go above that. So constantly think above the negativity that's around you. Think of new ideas. Think of stuff that ain't nobody ever thought of before. You are a creative person. You are highly in ingenuitive. There, there are no barriers that can contain your mindset and you have 100% activated use of your brain power through your DNA. Through meditation. Meditate every day. When they tell you what you can't do, and they put barriers on your mind and try to make you conform to what they believe your reality is, meditate. Think higher than where they are. And I guarantee you, you're going to find levels of success that the Most High is going to give you on the inside of your mind. And as hard and as strong as your heart beat and you want it, it's going to happen because you spoke it out of your mouth, you think it, and you do it. Silence negativity around you can't silence negativity by telling people to shut up. They gonna keep talking. Let what they say negative about you fuel you into being more successful. I'm gonna be a millionaire, multi-millionaire. Can't tell me I'm not gonna be one because I believe it in my mind and I believe it in my heart and it will be so. Cause my mind said think like that. So many obstacles and so many barriers that try to keep you from being on the level you want to be at. Don't let nobody tell you what you can't do. I have people tell me I would never be a chef. I got a job as a chef and I cooked over 1,500 meals a week for the homeless. I had told that I would never graduate high school. I graduated high school in the top 10% of my class with a 3.5 GPA. I was told I wouldn't graduate college. I was told I was going to be a thug my life. I don't have no criminal record. I graduated college three times. I believe in you. I believe you can do all that God, the creator, inside your DNA and your laminin, inside your, inside your DNA. You can be all that he wants you to be. But it first start with knowledge of self. Who are you? What do you like? What do you want to do? What are your dreams and goals? How do your dreams and goals help our society? Do you want to help society? Are you selfish? Are you giving? Can you find an equal balance in between what you need and what you can give? Some of the, some of the most prominent millionaires are the ones that have learned how to benefit society for its greater good. I'm a man that really wants to benefit society for its greater good. I'm a man that wants to see a whole lot of people help. I'm a man that wants to see society change for the better because I'm a builder. I'm a watchman and I'm a builder. Thank you for tuning in to the Daily Morning Motivation. Today's word was silence, which means a complete absence of sound cause to become silent, prohibited, or prevent from speaking. When people try to prevent you from speaking, 
Let your actions speak louder than the silence that they're trying to get you to be. And even in silence, the truth will always stand. So stand on what the truth is. Be who the Creator made you to be. Be it to the fullest potential that you can be. And I believe in your highest potential. I believe in your highest level of education, your highest level of understanding, your highest level of, of, of potential for what you can do in life, that you can do it and you will do it. I'm Stylus John. I love you. If you need someone to motivate your students in preschool, elementary, high school, college level, or you work with a juvenile detention center and you need someone to encourage some of the inmates or some of the young men in the group homes, I'm open to speak with them. I can be reached at 314-359-5499 or you can email me at stylistjohnmua at gmail.com. I love you. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Stylist John. Have a great day. I love you.